Hey YouTube, today we are going to see which is better, more accurate, easier to shoot, the Model 62 Shanghai China from 1985, or this BAM B3 AK-47 style air rifle. Both are 177 caliber. I'm going to be shooting the same pellets, these 177 caliber Crossman competition pellets. I'll shoot from a rest. We're going to be shooting all the way out there at 100 feet at those beer cans. So let's go. Okay, so here we are with the Shanghai China. I'm going to raise the rear sight. I'm going to aim for the can on the far left. Basically, there's no squeezing the trigger on this thing. You're pulling the trigger. Whoa, I got my range now. Hmm. <laughs> got a slow motion there. So the Model 62 was able to do it. All right, so I picked those cans up. The first one got hit. There's a hole in it. Oh, there we go. There's our entry and exit. But we did hear a ting that time, and it didn't even penetrate. The second one can got hit that slowly fell over on the very, very bottom. And it could have been that the wood slowed it down. It almost penetrated, but didn't. But it does. Uh, it's got a tiny hole in it, so I can't fill it back up with water. The next gun that we're going to shoot is this BAM. B3 is what I believe it's called. Hmm. Whoa. Wow. These sights have almost too many adjustments. You've got elevation back here. Then you also can do windage and elevation on the front sight. Overall, though, my suspicion is this is a more accurate rifle than the uh, mod Model 62. Okay, well, so that one hit low. It exited, and this one actually hit high and exited. Definitely doesn't have the power like a 22 caliber to blow the can out. Okay, if I remember right, I think that was the accuracy between these guns is pretty much... There was a draw. I believe I shot six shots with each gun, and each gun resulted in taking out two cans. So the ram is right in the middle. I'm going to see if I can hit the ram with this gun at 100 feet, the Model 62. Okay. Hey, I thought I heard a ting there. Damn. Okay, guys, I did hit the ram. It just tagged the base plate. And uh, that wasn't enough to do anything with it. But anyway, we, we hit there, so that's good. All right, well, so to conclude the shootout... The BAM B3 is more accurate than the Model 62 Shanghai China. This gun is faster to shoot. Um, the trigger pull is basically, there's, it really is no creep. It's just a kind of a hard, stiff pull, and then it goes. This one actually does have some feel to it. It's, once you get used to it, it's not... It's not it's not terrible you can get used to it um all steel construction well so is that that's the wood stock so these are really very similar guns the uh the range of adjustment on the, on the iron sights man they put the american guns even even the expensive freaking uh uh that uh, european guns come with I mean, to me junk shell plastic sights these are metal sights and they're they're rugged you know, and so that's just a simple ramp that doesn't have any, or does it have any steps to it? 
it does not appear to have any steps. So you just slide it where you think it should go. Ah, uh, the front sight's amazing. Um, they've been kind of cool. I don't know if the gun came with the tool. I'm assuming it didn't or I would have used it. Um, so that's why I had to grind off the top to get access to the that post. But you can move that sight back and forth for windage. You can move the front sight up and I had to move it way up for elevation to get it to hit. But yeah, man, I, I don't know what I paid for that. I think it was around $50. Of course, that was, I don't know. Uh, oh my God, 18 years ago? Dang. This gun, I think, the, I don't know the new ones. The new ones, I, anyway, this one has great. I like the rear sight on this. It's easier to use. It's got its steps. The front sight, you can slide back and forth, but it does tend to work loose. And then it also, does it have a thing for elevation? No, it doesn't. So the front side on this is not adjustable for elevation, just windage. Okay, guys, there you go. That's uh, that's the shootout. If you guys have any suggestions for future videos featuring these two guns, let me know. They're my two most popular guns on the channel. So it's been really fun to get these out and shoot them again. All right, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.